Hello everybody and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Today we're going to be moving into our next dungeon, the Skull Woods, and yeah, I know I'm not in the same place that I ended last time, but it's only because I wanted to show this off. Yeah, if you come over here, you actually get to see that our next stage that we're going to be saving is Saris. Man, what has it been like? Almost 25 parts since the last time we saw you? <sighs> So anyways, let's head back to the main entrance, shall we? Save you soon, Saris. Don't worry. Okay, guys, we are back, and it's time to enter Skull Woods. Now, this particular dungeon, it's probably going to be short, and oh my god, look at all these skulls. If not interested, let's keep moving. Now, Skull Woods is going to be a relatively short dungeon, mostly kind of like uh, the Swamp Palace. It's a really short dungeon, and there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be annoying with this. Like, for example, in the darkness, yeah, there's going to be random pop-ups every now and then. What is this? Like, Five Nights at Freddy's kind of shit? No. No, that that game is... <laughs> now, the main reason why this dungeon is going to be probably annoying for anybody that comes here, it's these guys. These are new enemy known as Wall Masters. If they grab you, they bring you back to where you entered the dungeon. They are not fun. And trust me, you will get frustrated with these guys many times. Now, this next part of the dungeon, we're going to come outside and we're going to jump into holes in order to get back inside to various places that we couldn't access before. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to merge here. Pop off this wall for a little hidden shortcut to get us a nice small key. Yeah, I'm going to hate navigating through this place in the dark because I just hate Gibdos because they are such tanks. Even with my sword at its current level, it still cannot produce enough damage to take these guys out with relative ease. It's annoying and it just takes forever to get stuff. Now, we're going to come in this room to get hit by a fire bar, but more importantly, to pick up a compass so we can see all the items in this dungeon. Now, because this dungeon is pretty much like uh, extremely linear, what are you talking about? Almost all the dungeons you played so far are extremely linear. Shut up, they don't know that. Yes, they do. Ugh. Talk with myself about random stuff that just makes sense. Okay. Yeah, this dungeon is going to be relatively quick. Now, this area is where we actually start getting a choice of what holes we get to jump into. There's one right here, and then there's a hidden one that I'll show later on. This one we're going to jump into because treasure. Come on, guys. Treasure is the best thing ever. You know you want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back outside and show you the other hidden hole to get back into Skull Woods. See you there. Okay, guys, we're back outside, and the other hidden place that you want to go into is actually right here. If you hit these bushes, underneath is a hidden entrance. So, yeah, this dungeon is not going to be a problem with stuff like that. <sighs> I just hate wall masters. There's going to be one room in particular that we're going to be going through later on, which wall masters make an absolute freaking pain. Honestly, they are the worst part of the dungeon. Like, this dungeon can be performed and executed with relative ease because it is like a stealth mission and that's what we're doing. Uh, this dungeon you can get through without a problem. You just have to deal with the wall masters. The wall masters make this dungeon probably the most clutch thing. But then again, the boss of this dungeon does have to deal with the fact that it it's very closely related to wall masters. Yeah, so. Other than that fact, wall masters are probably the worst thing and shouldn't be allowed back into Zelda games because they just suck and make everything more annoying. Especially when they grab you and just say, hey, guess what? We're gonna take all your shit away because you know what? Fuck you. Ugh. There we got. Let's see. Mini Moldworm. Just kill the Gibdo. And we have a Stalfos in this room. Hey, buddy, jump into Oblivion. Come on. Stupid Wallmaster. 
Okay, so we got a little bit of a switch puzzle where if you start pressing down on these, these little gates will come out. Now there's two in particular that we want to move our statues onto. First one we're going to move is onto this far one all the way on the left and move this one just straight up the center. And it should be right. No, all right, then this one. Okay. Sometimes I get, no, no, game. Thank you. Sometimes I get that one mixed up because it, it's easy to mistake the statues for being two points apart or close together. I don't know. Maybe it's just the tendency of what it's supposed to do. Okay, so now we're gonna deal with this room. Now, in this particular room, don't kill the wall master as much as it is tempting because he is annoying. He is needed for a particular puzzle right here. Come up right underneath of this switch right here and then wait for him to come smashing down. I just had to throw in that reference, didn't I? Really, you didn't hit the switch? You're a jerk, and that should have hit. <sighs> Apparently, part of his palm of his hand is not going all the way down. Let's try it again. There we go. So this activates this platform so we can actually progress forward. <sighs> I hate you, Stalfos. Stalfos, wall masters. Oh my god, I'm mixing up things. And now we got ourselves a mini boss. So we got Gibdos and mini Moldors. Yeah, even though these guys are purple and don't match the uh, other Moldworms' color, they are still exactly mini Moldworms. I don't know why. Eh, whatever. Okay, so come on. Smash them. Smash them, please. Thank you. All right, got another one. You know what? I'll do this myself. Take a bomb. Okay, that didn't really do anything except for light them on fire. Come on. There we go. Cool. Thank you very much. Gonna be progressing forward now. Okay. Now, like I mentioned before, I do not like like moving platforms. You know why? Because they take freaking forever. Hello, Chisupa. You really have to wait until the like very last second in order to get off. It's just tedious. I just do not like moving platform levels unless they're well paced and fun to do. If I have to sit on a conveyor belt for freaking ever because it needs to take a snail's pace, I'm gonna get frustrated. Like this right now. Yeah. You deal with that, you stupid wall master. I don't give a crap about you. Alright. So, for this next room. I would be prepared when you get down here. So we're gonna rush all the way to the other end, pull back. We're gonna light the switch and out of the darkness. Where did you guys come from? Honestly, if you're running in the darkness, you do not see these Gibdos. They just come out of nowhere and decide to just attack you. <sighs> At least they, it, they didn't like spawn like four or five on you. They only spawn like two. Honestly, I'm thankful for that, but still, really stupid. Okay, hello, Chisupa. Now, we have this little puzzle right here. We're gonna need these eyeballs in order to reveal this big chest right here. And yeah, just go ahead, start smashing everything. We're gonna throw these eyeballs into these eye sockets, and there we go. Now, there is another chest in this room, and, well, actually, it's going to be our other big chest that we're going to need to pick up, our extra item. Okay, so, yeah, this chest right here. Now, as we progress forward into this part, we're going to have a lot of areas where you can fall into a hole, and, well, it may confuse you because a lot of them are incorrect. But I'll show you the correct one soon. But before that, wow, I, I looked like I was stumbling through that sentence. Ugh. We're gonna pick up this chest with 50 rupees. Very nice. Okay. Now, our only entrance that is correct, hey, Saris, uh, we're, we're on our way, is right here. And through it, when we get back into the dungeon, what we can do, merge onto the wall, and we can get this eyeball. I would not recommend picking up the eyeball first. Merge over here, pick up this chest. 
Honestly, you can miss this master ore, and I've done that before, and I'm like, how do I do that? I had to backtrack after I got the big key. It's not fun. Hey, Gibdo. Get out of here, you jerk. I'm done dealing with your crap. Okay. So, now we gotta transport this glass eyeball, or... I don't know what this thing is made out of. It's, it's made out of monster guts. That's what it's made out of. Watch out! Ugh. I hate wall masters. Yeah, the only reason why I really hate them is they can appear in this particular area and make it really, really hard to get through. So this guy, wait for it, wait for it, throw, merge, and avoid. Oh my god, yeah. I honestly hate that one point with the wall master. The wall master just makes that last bit so hard to deal with. Okay, that, okay, the Chusupa didn't get me, but I don't care. All right, and with that, we finally get our big key, and yeah, this dungeon's been relatively short. It's not anything to write home about. It's really quick. Now, we're gonna make this next boss really easy. So, this boss that we're gonna do next is really, really simple. It's like probably one of the most simple bosses that you're gonna have in this game. Well, let's go meet him first before we continue to back sass him. This is our boss, Knuckle Master. Hello, Knuckle Master. Now, one thing I would recommend is there are two ways you can go about this boss. The first way is to use your merge ability. The second way is to use your tornado rod. Well, let's use the tornado rod method. Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, darn it. Okay, I need, uh, give me a minute. I'm gonna have to try to perform this. You'll see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that was a boss. I um, mean, Knuckle Master, like I said, pretty easy boss. And here we have our next sage, Saris. No, no, I'm fucking with you guys. Uh, that's a pretty cool exploit that you can do for speed running. Um, we're gonna take out uh, Knuckle Master the normal way. Unfortunately, Knuckle Master, he only has one pattern. He's really easy to do. Let's merge onto this wall, wait for him to smash, okay, wait for him to come out, and then slash him like crap, okay, and that, that's it, that's the whole pattern. He's gonna do that until he goes into pinch mode, he is honestly gonna be the easiest boss in the entire game. Okay, now he's in pinch mode, and then he's gonna get a little bit more aggressive. You know what he's gonna do? Well, he's just gonna like start smashing the ground. So we'll just wait. So I go one, two, three. He lags out a bit, so wait before coming out of all. And then up, up, he does it again, but this time for four. One, two, three, four hand smash. Ah, ah, ah. Now we're just gonna wait for him to try and smash this again. Walk to the side, hey buddy, how's it going? Yeah, that's his whole pattern, so... I'm just gonna skip ahead until I kill this idiot, because he's really easy to take care of. See you then. Yes, there we go. And that was our boss, Knuckle Master. God, he's really, really pathetic. Okay, but at least we kicked his butt, and he is done. And for our troubles, we get a sage and a heart container. I hope Cyrus isn't too mad that we just kind of up and left her when we could have left the dungeon. Uh, hey Cyrus, don't be mad, I, I need to get a heart container. Sorry. Hey, Saris. Ah, I see. My little friend from the sanctuary. You've come to my rescue, have you? Bless your goodness. How strong you must have gotten since then. But it seems you have further yet to go. You must save all of the seven sages. Please, I beg of you, save all of us, or peace will never return to Hyrule. Well, there's only one more left anyways. Once you find all of us sages, then you will surely battle Yuga himself. 
I can only hope that if you defeat him, then the capital, uh, captain will change back from being a painting. So please, defeat that awful Yuka and save all of Hyrule. Alright, will do. May the hero lead the way to the Triforce. Oh, lovely Zelda. Can you sense it? Our brave hero almost has the Triforce of Courage. Lowru will be saved thanks to him. And one princess to another? I can't tell you how grateful I am. Wait, what does that mean? Triforce of Courage. Hmm. Well, with that, I think we'll end our part right here. So next time, we got some cleanup to do, and we got some Mayamais to collect. So, until next time, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.